Say, Lord, Lord we, thank you we thank you for your mercies, for your mercies upon, our life. upon our life. Now we are going to pray and then we are going to send all those curses. Now, uh, the Bible says in Numbers chapter 23, verse 23, it says, Surely, let's all prophesy. Surely, there is no enchantment. There is no enchantment. Or sorcery. Or sorcery. Against Jacob. Against Jacob. Nor divination. Nor divination. Against Israel. Against Israel. It, it is. Now. Now. Must be said. Must be said. Of Jacob. Of Jacob. And of Israel. And of Israel. Oh, what God has done. Oh, what God has done. Therefore, I decree. Therefore, I decree. That nobody. That nobody. You cannot. You cannot. Curse those. Curse those. That God has blessed. That God has blessed. You cannot curse. You cannot curse. Those. Those. Who carry the presence of God. Who carry the presence of God. You cannot curse. You cannot curse those, those who walk in obedience to God. Who walk in obedience to God and live a righteous life. And live a righteous life. You cannot curse. You cannot curse who God has favored. Who God has favored. Therefore, in the name of Jesus. Therefore, in the name of Jesus. In the spirit. In the spirit of curse. Of curse. That have been released. That have been released from the powerless. Against me. Against me. God has forgiven me. God has forgiven me. I've confessed it. I've confessed it. I've repented. I've repented. The Lord God. The Lord God. Restore me. Restore me. Back to my blessings. Back to my blessings. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray for restoration. struggling with forces they cannot master now. They cannot understand. They have been asking themselves. I don't understand why things are not working the way it should work. They have tried to understand what is going on in their lives. But up to now, they don't understand. We are going to ask the Lord that you pour his mercies upon their lives. That they will realize that whatever sin they find themselves, that God will open their eyes to see, confess it, and repent, and then God will restore them. Let's pray. Amen. Jesus washed the disciples. Jesus told his disciples that they ought to serve one another the way he was serving them. That is John 13, 14. And another example of being our being in the world is what? To do what Jesus did. And so we are going to pray that God will give us an open hands, will live a generous life. Hallelujah. Amen. And I believe that when we do that, listen, we'll help these powerless people around us. Even in our community, 
in our job place. So we are going to ask the Lord to give us a generous heart, a, a, a generous hand. Say a generous hand. A generous hand. A generous life. A generous life. Look at in Galatians uh, chapter 1 verse 4 and 220. Paul makes it clear that it was Jesus who gave himself for our sins. That is Galatians 1 4. And then who loved us and gave himself for us. That is Galatians 2 20. And it is consistent with other scriptures in which Jesus is telling his disciples that, listen, go out and then be generous to people. Even Jesus himself went about doing good to everybody. And so just as Acts chapter 20 verse 35 tells us, Paul even said it is more blessed to give than to receive. That, of course, is contrary to the philosophy of this world that places a high premium on receiving than giving. Today in the church, people want to come and receive and receive. They don't want to give. Today I pray that God will restore you to hands that give. Hallelujah. Amen. Give to everybody. Begin to pray. That God will give to us. That God will give us outstretched arms, living a compassionate life. Jesus was a person who felt the passion, the suffering of others, and he responded. And we are to do the same. Look at what Matthew 14, 14 tells you. He says that Jesus was moved with compassion and healed the sick. So compassion lost him into action. We are praying that God pour your compassion upon us as we wait upon you. Let's pray. Says when a person is under a curse, the person labors without a result. He works and work and work and work. So we are going to pray that all those hardships, all those labor pains, God will remove it as we begin to do His will, as we begin to go out and preach the gospel to others. Let's pray. Amen. <laughs> I prophesy against any sickness that defies medicine, mysterious accidents, lack of favor, general backwardness. In the name of Jesus, I decree that beginning from today, no curse of backwardness, instead the blessing of forwardness. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. I'll never be getting late for important assignments. I'll never be having all kinds of dreams. Of backwardness. In the name of Jesus. So therefore I prophesy. 
that by the power of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, all that belongs to me, that will make my dreams, my aspirations, my vision be fulfilled on the land of living, I receive the power of that blessing to catapult me to greater heights. Professor, I don't